How long has it been since you put that suit on? Six years. Don't do it. This over here, I know it don't look very good right now, but when we were here, yes, it was nice. We had tables. We had we had a chest drawer here with sleeping bags where the homeless came to, where we would leave the, the, this is the hood. We would leave the hood and come to the office, and this is where we deal with drugs. This is where we came to exchange heroin for coke, sell prostitutes this is where you could get anything from stealing a bubble gum to shooting a cop this is where to do the contact it don't look like much today but who knows what tomorrow has in store i was born in 1957 i was born addicted to heroin Alcohol. I was premature. I was very ill as a baby. I grew up in this family. And seven years old, I was smoking pot. Thirteen years old, I was a full-blown acid freak in 1969. Fourteen, I got my first... At fourteen years old, I got my first gram of heroin from my father and my brother and my uncles because we were all addicts. A drug family. I witnessed my father being killed. I even helped, in some instances, relieve people from their pain from this earth. I'm talking family, because they were so sick and ill because of the drugs and alcohol that all they were doing, the doctors were just prolonging their pain, so we had to put them to rest. My sister died about four months ago. She's 34 years old, pancreatitis, liver. She was an addict since she was 14. I know 14 because I was the first one to shoot heroin up her veins. This is my uniform right here from, uh, from the, when I worked at State Penitentiary as cor Correctional Officer. Correctional Officer 1. And this is my, the last uniform I had and I, ha and I kept it until, until the end and as a souvenir and I cherish it because I put a lot of years in that place, a lot of years, and uh, and proud to show it off. I hang on to it, and I'm very proud to show the damn thing off. You know. <laughs> Uh, 
don't mess with these guys. <laughs> you mess with them too far, don't push the, don't push the button because believe me, you're going to regret it. <laughs> what do you mean regret? You can go down just as well, they can clavage somebody there too. You can go down just as well, whether you're in uniform or not. They'll, they'll, they'll down you, believe me, they'll down you. And how about you? I've gone to like these guys. I'm part, of the, I'm part of the familia. I'm part of the family in there. They won't do me nothing. No. I got to, I got to get myself to, to liking them. They got to liking me and they never touch me. If new ones will come in, say, you don't touch Guerrero. You don't touch Guerrero. No. You touch him, there's going to be, you're, you're going to go, you're going to down or they'll have it done. Believe me. It's, it's like a whole mafia, a whole mafia in there all of its own. The mafia. That's what controls of the Pinta, La Mafia, where there's white, the white Aaron uh, Brotherhood, la, la Raza, or the blacks, the Indians, okay, hey, uh, it's all a whole world of sound in there. And, and this one tells somebody else to do it, he better do it. If he doesn't do it, he's going to go down. <laughs> Amigos, quiero cantarles una tragedia muy triste Esta tragedia ha pasado en la prisión de Santa Fe Han muerto arriba de 30 y unos ni saben por qué Era el día 2 de febrero cuando empezó la cuestión Dentro de poquito tiempo hicieron revolución Unos cuantos prisioneros ahí en aquella prisión Como costumbre esa noche a los presos vigilaba Al capitán y sus guardias en una gran descuidada Los tomaron prisioneros sin darles tiempo de nada Con los guardias secuestrados por delante los llevaban Sabiendo de su importancia al cuarto centro llegaban La cerradura rompieron y la prisión controlaba Like they say in Vietnam, killing was legal over there. Well, at that, at, in that ordeal, killing was legal there too. And it, and it was planned already for when, for, for when the uh, warriors went in to make their, their to go make their, 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 their count, their head count. They had double, be, double bunks and they, and they were overcrowded in there. A dormitory would hold, hold maybe about 45. There was maybe up to uh, 90 up to 110 in one, in, in, in one dorm. You know, it, and they were sleeping in the aisles to me and not just bunks. So they, they were tired of that, so that's when they went in for the count. And, and when they came back out, there were some pintos that were standing on the, on, the, on the side of the door, and the capitan was standing right there. When he opened the door to let the guardias out, that's when they overpowered it. That's when they overpowered them right there. They overpowered them right there. And then and they took the keys, and that's when they took them hostages. They didn't, no harm came to them, but some harm came to them harm came to them, some of them, you know, and badly harm because the ones that they, the ones that they did, the ones that they gave the harm to were the ones that, were the ones that were, the ones that were, were, were mouthing off to the inmates and the inmates saw that. They were treating them like shit. They were treating them like dogs, you know, and they didn't like that. So it caught up to them eventually. And that's when they did their bodily harm to them. They didn't kill them, but they did sexual abuse to them, but not, not with their penis. Not with their penis, with with uh, with uh, broom handles, broom handles. That's how they did their harm right there, you know. And they're complaining. They had their ten demands. They had ten demands in there, and they wanted the demands fulfilled, met, and they didn't do it. So that's what that's what they start. That's what started them off. They wanted to get to the snitches also, the snitches, and that was their goal to to make their make their way from from getting pedals from from their home rule up in one of the dormitorios to get to the, to the other end and overpower the guardias on, 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 on the count, on the count. They wanted to overpower them, they got the llaves, they went and opened up all the other dorms and they went down the hall, opened up the, opened up, oh, they opened up the, the, the cell blocks. 
the cell blocks, they, they opened them up, and that's where the rampage started right there. And they, they wanted to get to the infirmary when they found the drogas. The infirmary to make them más locos after their pedo, after they got on the home brew, okay? That's where it broke out in up in E2, dormitory E2, in the day room. Los gavachos, los gavachos, the white boys are the ones that que se ponieron bien jalaos. And that's what, that's what they instigated the rest. That's where, that, that's where the raza came in to join up with them. And that's when they were feeling all doped up. And that's when they went to do, that's when they went to go do their thing right there. And they, they rampaged the whole damn thing. Compared to Vietnam, uh, which one was tougher? La Pinta or Vietnam? In my books, they're both the same. They're both the same because uh, in Vietnam, I had the opportunity to, to kill. In uh, the st at the state pen, I didn't have the oppor I didn't have the opportunity. Is what I had to do. I had to watch my back, watch my back, and uh, from the filo rasos, you know, I had to do that. I had no other choice, you know. In other words, like going going to, going to bed with one eye open, when I closed, you know, and watch. I had to watch myself, you know. Nobody's gonna, nobody was gonna do for me, you know. But uh, well, that was a challenge. That was a big challenge in my in my behalf. That was a big challenge. That the pinto was a big challenge. Same way as the Vietnam was a big challenge also, you know. It was a big challenge, big time. And uh, I combined them both together, and that's why I was building up all the stress of what I've been through, you know. Of all the tragedies I've been through, that's why I go to the wall and let out all my frustration. That way, I don't gain all that uh, that stress in my corazón where it will give me a heart attack. Cause, I, cause I'm, I'm, I'm still too young for that, to get a heart attack, you know. I'm too, still too young for that. Oh well, you know. But you know, I, I had to, I had to dish out. I had to dish out. Believe me, it was a challenge. Like you said just a little bit ago, it was a challenge. But I had to dish out a lot that I had to do. Sometimes in life. We see things and wonder, am I really seeing what I'm seeing? Is it a vision, illusion? Or am I actually only making it up in my mind and saying, this is what I want to see. This is how it is. Like I told you earlier, I look out the window at the neighbors over there and say, what the fuck are they doing? Hooking up a trader and a boat to the truck. They're going to the lake again, fishing and a picking. What the hell's wrong with these people? Ain't they got any drugs to sell? Don't they have a life? What's wrong with them? Ah, to me they say, what's reality to you? <laughs> I mean, you have to earn some money. You have to sell drugs. You have to fuck the government before they fuck you. <laughs> it's a beautiful dock over there. It's not the land of the free, it's a land with a fee. Freedom's the most expensive thing there is that I've known about, that I've noticed because I've done time. I've been in and out of prison five times. I lived in every prison in New Mexico up to 19... 1996. This Christmas will be six years that I've been out. Longest in my whole life, been free. And let me tell you, I miss, I miss not being free. Freedom out here, it's difficult. I can't afford to be poor. I can't afford to be poor. In prison, you develop certain qualities in recognizing people in trauma, in despair. You know, I could tell you when somebody's going to commit suicide 10 days earlier. Ah, 7 out of 10, I get it right. I have a friend. He's close. He told me, write something for me. I wrote three pages. He wrote half of it. He says, break it down. I want to say it all at once. Electrified, paralyzed look in my eyes. Illusion, confusion without compromise. Consolation, segregation, darkness in meditation. In dying will I rise. Los angeles como nosotros, the angels like us, we, we, don't, we don't publicize our wings. We don't. 
That's right. to them. So it's a battle between us and them. That's right. And, they, and it's a battle big time. I'm going through my fifth war now. La guerra de Vietnam, la reta de, 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 de la pinta, mi divorcio, este lumbre que pasó ahí, at the Santa Clara Apartments, y ahora con, con, uh, dealing con, con estos diablos aquí, Dios, son diablos. They want, they want to control us como perro. You know, get a, get a string around their finger. They want to tie us around their finger. Around their finger. They, they, but with, with, with you and I, that ain't going to happen. No, 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 no. And I, I don't think so. This is the best ever one. What I'm gonna do is kill three men. And I'm gonna remain as I am now. Because it's just enough to keep me stable. Wrote one for my mother in the neighborhood. Right Mama cries. She looks in my eyes, the only one who forgave my lies. Of all I do and all I say, all I want is another day to see Mama without a tear and look in my eyes without a fear. If I can't get out or go home, pray for me, Mama, so I won't be alone. Clean it up for me. It's what made the killing, it's what made the killing out of this one here, out of this Pinta, compared to Attica, there was 110 killed in Attica, including officers. But what made this bad, the worst one to that, there's only 33, they said there was 33 killed. What made it bad was a mutilation. That's what made it the worst, worldwide. And believe me, the whole world heard about that one there. Cutting off their, their vessels, cutting off their penises, cutting off their heads with meat cleavers. That's what made it so bad. Y los, 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 los clavadas. The clavadas, you know. That's what made it, that's what made it the worst. The mutilation, you know, cutting off, cutting, cutting off body parts out of the inmates. Cutting off body parts. And, and they were making like a joke. Like, there's one, he was a black dude, they cut off his head, and they put his head in between his legs with his, with his penis in his mouth. And the other ones, they used the gymnasium as a slaughterhouse to kill the other ones and mutilate them. They used the gymnasium as a slaughterhouse. Like, you know, that's the first thing that went down on the fire. That's the first thing that went down. During the riot itself. Ah, 
Uh, 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 to help you out, because you're still a young kid, okay? Out of my consejas to you, out of my, uh, out of my, my advice, grow up, be a good, be a good young man. I think, think of something good in your future. Don't go against the law. The law is nothing to break. Be good in your life. Be good and be taught good. You want to go to college? Well, Pinta has college too. Prison life is a life that, that's no good. That's no good at all, whatsoever, you know? And uh, when, uh, and when uh, a pretty boy comes in, they're going to utilize him as a punk. You know, they're going to use him as a punk, and if he doesn't give in as a punk, they'll do him in right there too. And they'll, but, they'll, but, they'll make, but they'll make him a punk to, uh, to prove to a point to him that he's going to be my slave. And, uh, and that's where these gangs over here get to him and said, you're going to do as I say, and if you don't do it, we're going to do you in. You will do it whether you like it or not. So let's get in there and bend over. Let's get in there and bend over. If you don't want to bend over, we'll bend you over. That's a total talent. Yes. Now take it all off. And, and let's have a little bit of oral sex there. And he won't like it. The yelling, go, the yelling goes on from the guy because he's getting it. So then the officer comes over here. Kim makes the camera stop, but they have their watchdogs over here. On the album, when that's going on, watchdogs means that they have the other inmates just standing around here, looking like that, looking that way, looking that way, making sure the officers don't come in. When they see the officer coming in, that's when they say, man walking. They don't have to look in there. They don't have to look in there where, where, where the sexual activity is going on. They don't have to look in there. They just say man walking. And once they say man walking, that's when they'll stop doing what they're doing and they'll, pretend, and they'll make him put his pants up and they'll just sit down and just pretend like they're just talking to him and they tell him right there, you shut the fuck up mighty quick. You shut up and you say a word, you're, you're dead. That's what, that's what a pretty boy is all about. Go ahead. Take your shower. Remember, there's 15, 20 other guys. What's to stop them to come in here and take a shower with you? Come on in. I mean, this is your privacy of the shower. How many guys can you get in a room like this to take a shower? You talked about the pretty boys? Then you will have... This is one of the places. You have better access right there. You're taking a shower right there. They can easy to get you. That's right. You drop the soap then. Yeah. That's a reality of, of prison. You have no privacy. You have nothing that you had on the streets in here. Nothing. It's a stain that came out from uh, some. Uh, it's a stain that came out from uh, where they did it, where they did somebody in. Okay? Now this spot over here is where they drag somebody out of the cell where they torch them up. In one of the cells, and they, they drug them out over here and they burn them. They burn them over here. There's your privacy. Where the white connects right here, there's a zero right here. There's a zero, okay? And this right here, there's a good goal. This left is the bad. So once you reach here, you gotta just play, just play like you're blind. Which way, which, which direction are you gonna go? Are you gonna go for the right direction or the wrong direction? The right direction. The right direction, and that's the right direction right there for your goal. You go the wrong direction, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, believe me, you're in trouble. So you want to go the right way. When you reach a circle, you want to go the right way, which is a good way. The good way. Think about that, okay? Think about my why. My why. Nah. Come on. Come on. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Please don't let me down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah! power give me my power I need your help now 
I want to make her happy. Pero así soy yo. Es la que una persona I am. You know, I'm not bragging. It's just fact. You know, and I'm damn proud to mention the fact. Damn proud of it. Down, mm, 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 mm. down to the bone. Easy. Mm. I'm about to start a mission here. And I'm doing this mission for you. Not for nobody else. For you, I'm doing this mission. Dear Lord did it for us, why can't you do it for him? So don't stop and slow down and look at me. Forget you. If you don't be, if, if you believe in Sigma, believe in him instead. But my dear Lord is God Almighty. He's the, the Almighty on my in the face of this earth. So yeah, turn to Satan, go turn to Satan. But you're going the wrong road. My road is the right road, all the way, and I don't give a damn what anybody thinks. If they don't like it, don't look at me. Don't look at me at all, period. Just drive on. My buddies, my buddies in Vietnam, we went through a world of hell over there. We went through a whole world of hell over there. And what did, how, did we, how did we get appreciated for it? We didn't get appreciated for it. We lost who knows how many. My buddies out of Nam. Give them, give them a, give them a, give them a, give them a prayer of some kind, you know? It wasn't them that, it was the government that took them over there. They never came back. Well, they did come back, but in a body bag, and I don't like that. I'm lucky I'm here, alive. I'm really lucky. I don't like talking to myself, but I, well, I got another choice.
Left the wall of prison in 1980 during the prison riot. I dressed him out as an inmate and took him out. Am I telling the truth? So correct. They were gonna kill him, took him out. You know why? Because he was a dirty cop. You don't mind me saying that? Uh, I was a dirty cop, yes. I, I never got He busted. brought our drugs and stuff yes. in. That's got... why he lived for 22 years in prison. He was allowed to live there. I never got busted for it, but believe me. We didn't I... let that happen, yeah, Ronnie. That's right. I that's get... why you got your retirement and you're okay yes. now. I guess no. he helped you right. to survive. I don't know, the drug, I'd be surprised the drug I took in there, and the marijuana I took in there. Oh, hell yeah. I never got busted for it, they never knew about it. But I got away with it, and that's why I was loved so much by the people. But you make the best sandwiches in the side of New Mexico, bro. That's cool. Nah, man, down, man. To the, mm -hmm, down to the best. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I wore for the, all those years that I, that I spent in there. All those years taking care of this gentleman here. Taking care of this gentleman right here, and he, uh, which he backed me up 100% too. 100% he backed me up in there, you know. Not that I liked him or anything like that. I just you know? realized that in life there are good people. He was one of them. That's why we did what we did for him. We stuck together like glue, him and I, along with others. And I didn't, I didn't ask for the fire to happen at Santa Clara. Mm -hmm. He was my next door neighbor. I didn't ask for him to be my next door neighbor over here in Ocalente. It just happened. Get your arms off of me. Yeah, you still look stuck like that. <laughs> 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 I don't know, but several people were killed in the process of saving this man's life to get out because he was a dirty cop in prison. In the eyes of society. Yep. That's right. In our eyes, when he would bring me my stuff, when our stuff would come in, I was able to go to school. I was calm. I had my Mota, my value, my chiva, whatever. I went to school. I graduated from three different colleges by correspondence in 16 years with degrees. Love my mama. I woke up this morning with a wine glass in my hand, walking through the barrios where the tears flood the lands. Children are crying with babies of their own. Little do they know, mama left them all alone. Nobody cares, mama still cries, because the tears of a mother never die. They'll never die. They'll never die. Such a lovely day.
The Lord is good. He blessed me with another day. You know, sometimes life never promised nothing. You know what? Sometimes we have desires that mean something. Everything is desired, but uh, do we I'm get I'm speaking, would you listen yeah, yeah, to no, me? No, I will not listen to you. No. We have desires, but are, are, are our desires fulfilled or no? Yes or no? Are they fulfilled? No. No. That, that, no. That's for us then. Well, if you would have let me continue what I was going to say, might a thought fulfill you. En otra palabra, escúchame por un minuto. Espénsame. We're not asking for nothing. We're not saying nothing. We're not trying to establish nothing. What's the problem is that society sees us as nothing. If I am nothing and I vote, I buy, I pay taxes, all these things, I'm not nothing. came down we witnessed several assassinations but the thing of it is somehow somewhere cut So much for the office. 